Hello and welcome to the next part of our Fresh Dweller 2024 Fallout 76 walkthrough. We are here at the Morgantown train station. In the previous video I brought to your attention how we can use the push pins in these maps to discover new locations on our maps. But before we leave here I also wanted to point out that there are these notices on the wall that we want to look at. We have this nightclub And then we have the White Springs Responders. We have the Sheep Squatch. It puts Lowe's Taxidermy in Louisville on our map. We have a party poster. Adds a miscellaneous quest. And then there's the shelter poster. We've already seen that and claimed our shelter. So let's move on. <clears throat> Before we leave, let's kind of check out our status. Still got 24 minutes of kindred spirit. We've got, we're fully fed, fully rested. We've got 26 minutes of cranberry cobbler. Let's go ahead and turn off those. We do want to investigate Morgantown Airport. So we have our shotgun, which is going to come in really handy as we get inside the airport lobby, which is where we're heading. Generally some scorched hanging around outside though. I believe I see target right there. There's usually somebody wandering around up here. Like right there. Now what's he gonna do? Come downstairs, please. There you are. Hold still. Thank you. We have another willing participant here. I'll hold still. I had a headshot. There we go. See what kind of goodies we get. Very good, thank you. There's some stairs up this walkway. Gets everybody for now. We see this great, great big, big green blob. The work of another player, but do get some goodies. And we're all good here. Scan of the area. Back of this military vehicle. And no first aid kit, first aid kit, no goodies here. And nothing on this side. We have this tent area.
and get our discovery bonus that's fantastic there's also this little area up here you can follow this railroad track on into Morgantown proper but for this vi video purpose of this video we are gonna stick to the airport um, we'll come back for these tents in the next video for now I'm going to concentrate on getting into the airport itself and here we are at arrivals I said e rivals I meant arrivals head on in if you're not watching this, vi this particular video due to the debut of the Fallout TV series on Prime I fully understand I'm very much waiting for it to come out and I'll be watching it myself later today So here we are inside. We have some posters for the Mothman Museum. Fortunately, these don't work like the posters inside the train station. One for Garahan Mining. Got air purifiers. There. Hang on. Come on. Oh, he was. Should be a couple of guys here. This guy and this guy. Come on out. I can't believe I missed him. Shotgun. A couple of torso shots. And should be good. Like I said, our shotgun will serve us well in these close quarter. Oh, hang on. Stand right there. Thank you. So let's investigate over here for a second. We see that there have been some barricades built here at the arrivals area. Do a little bit of looting. What have you guys got for me? Some good stuff. Come on. Uh, we'll come back for that in a second. So nothing around this corner. We have some suitcases. Up here at the arrivals desk. So before we go through that door, we'll lots of goodies there. Do our best not to disturb these guys. Nothing on this responder's corpse. We see a toolbox. Take that adjustable wrench. I might as well get that. All right, before we go through the door, let's go back around to this area of the arrivals. Nothing in the Nuka Cola machine for us today. And here we have. Ah, darn it. Avoid that radiation if possible. But we do have some power armor stations. But we also have 
a weapons workbench here. So let's continue our little bit of looting. Ooh, I do like that fan. Thank you. And another adjustable wrench. And make note of this elevator shaft. As a matter of fact, before we go, let's we'll go ahead and pop that guy, and I'll show you why later. Time to do a little bit of scrapping. And we could take a moment to try to upgrade a little bit. We did get some new goodies. Just in case. I think we're all right, though. I want to modify. Let's see if we got anything better than a... True receiver still looks good. True long barrel still looks good. If we just had a better grip, nope. Or better sights, nope. I think we're still best here. All right. In the interest of time, let's move on. Those are our two primary weapons, and they're in good shape. So let's go ahead and move on. Before we head down there, see a brief outline, along with this note, their battle plan. Established fronts at baggage claims, arrivals, and gates. Here we entered through the arrivals. Baggage claims should pull back to the utility. Hold out there as long as possible. Regrouping here at arrivals. Arrivals retreat to point as security. Get everyone in and lock the gate behind you. If all else fails, pull back to command. All right. So let's see how well their battle plan worked out. We can see that Arrivals was overrun. We've got a couple of sleepers here. Oh, man, that was a little easier than usual. But trust me, there are more. As promised, there he is. He's not going to be a good boy and hold still. Now we do want to be careful because right outside that door there are some tanks, some gas tanks, and if you're caught in the crossfire, that is not good. That's why I really like to clean these guys out before exiting this room. We have the one malingerer right there. Oh, now you've done a... Oh! You were so good! Let's see if I can't just get that headshot. No. There we go. Says there's still one more though. <laughs> All right. 
Time to go eluding. More goodies. Some bubble gum. Yeah. Okay. Again, wanting trying to be careful. I do want that fan. Now there's one of the tanks I was talking about. Oh. Hey, come here. And just behind this door are the other tanks. That's why you really want to be careful about being in that doorway. Now, I'm getting the message that we have one more roamer. I think he's back in that corner. Let's go back in that direction. There he is. As promised, this shotgun is working out to be most effective. That being said, I am, if we level up during the course of this video. Oh, hey, where were you? Right there is where you were. going to put a point in perception I probably didn't need that steel scrap just have to remember to drop that if need be we have another body of a responder here using this barricade Now around here, you see this pickaxe, and you see this responder here. This is the source of the key card. We'll come back for that though. But if you want to, you can swipe it through there. Now the, the Scorched did do us a favor there and open this. This terminal requires zero. That would have been a little XP for us. You can go up there. I just do want to, since we did skip by here. Take that pipe wrench, some caps, nice. and got to be real careful. This is the danger zone I was talking about. You do not want to be back here and fighting <laughs> with them. So anyways, let us go back through here normally. You would need to hack this level zero terminal. And another strategically placed station where we can scrap all the, oh, bobby pins. 
regular viewers will know I'll need that. Some duct tape. Thank you very much. And we have this red button on the wall that opens that door. Problem is, once you go through that door, you cannot come back out without the card reader. And we left the card reader there in the corpse, responder corpse's hand. Like I said, we will get back around to that in a minute. So I'll leave it up to you whether you want to snag that at this point or not. Oh, some San Francisco sunlights for those who play Fallout 4. You'll know that's Kellogg's favorite brand. Let's see, I think that's all we want to. It's not going to let us have that. We'll take those crisps, I guess. We already examined that explosives crate. So we're pretty good here. Let's go ahead and scrap all our junk. And some of these extra weapons we picked up. As I said, this will open this door, and there will be numerous scorched out here. The problem is, once we leave, we won't be able to come back in without the card reader. There's usually numerous out here. A little bit hesitant to walk out. Well, I guess I don't have much choice at this point. Ooh, almost ran into him, didn't I? Well, you dead. Am I? Where are you? You dead. Now that little beep is actually a metal detector. Off to our right. Right there. Okay, we should be good. <clears throat> As we can see, this has been turned into... Oh, nuclear waste. I do want that. I'm going to just take that for the wood. Seems like I never can have enough wood with all the cooking that I do. We see here's their trading post rules. All the stuff they've got with the prices sold out of bobby pins. Make sure everything's good down here. Lots of good weapon and ammo. Don't need that plate per se. Around here we have some Responder terminals. Now all the messages, if you want to go back to the messages, those are all the same that we got at the Flatwoods ki kiosk terminals, but we have this option to dispense rations. Yes, thank you very much. Got some water and some Instamash. And around this corner, 
we see. Want to be ready. This little area here of bathrooms. I think there's usually a guy. I'm a little leery. I don't want to get caught from behind. Oh, what was in the toilet there? Some money. Oh, we'll leave you alone. A little privacy for you. Oh, but I do want the clipboard. Thank you very much. And we go across the way here. See a tinker's workbench where we can once again scrap. We'll come back up here in a minute. As we go down here, we can see this is the other side. So you could either go through that, crack that terminal and go that way, or you could go this way. So let's do some looting and scrapping. Backlade, good for gears and screws. We go in here and get the sugar. Nothing in the file cabinets worth. Oh, circuit board, fantastic. Don't need any of that. Again, do a quick scrap. Yes, by the time we leave this area, we'll probably have just about all of the mods that we need. So, going back to this direction and going through the metal detector. We'll hear the little dent. And here it's asking for the ID card reader. So had we swiped it, we might could have gone through that door. But that's okay. We'll get it by going through this direction. Here, see. Oh darn it! Stop that, Mr. Fumblefingers. Oh. I don't know how you morph through the door there. That's a little frustrating, but that's okay. I don't know where that guy came from. I guess he morphed back through the door. It kind of put a little bit of hurt on us. Where are we at on food and drink? Like a little mutt chop. That's good. Thank you very much. And we still got some cranberry cobbler going. So then we have another little holding cell area. There's not generally anything in there of note. goodies. Oh, a fishing rod. Good stuff there. Let's go ahead and take all his goodies.
And here's the corpse we th saw through the wall and our access card. Nothing behind the door, but there's usually some goodies in here. Here's the note. I don't want the pen, I want the note, the closet note. So we can see two people writing back and forth to each other. I guess to be quiet. Somebody says they're leaving and the other person begs them no, but looks like they go anyways. And then I'm just guessing that that was the Scorch trying to pick their way in with that pickaxe through the wall there. This mummified responder appears to perhaps just died of starvation and loneliness. And now, equipped with said security card, we go back. and do a little bit of sniping. There are several in here, usually about four. Hey, you guys, there's one. Oh, he's a. There's a legendary. Never. Yes, don't tell me never. Kind of kneecapped him. It's a good shot. But again, yeah, that's the safe thing is to just to stay there at the edge of those steps. Here, one more. Not sure where he's at, but I am anxious. Oh, there he is. By that cash register. That's a ways away. I really want to see what we got from that legendary Scorched. Metal left leg. And let's see what that does. Retreat for a moment. So it's eight ballistic, one energy. And that's going to hurt us a little bit on the carry weight. I'm going to hold off till we can mod it up a bit. But that is exciting. Once we mod that up, we'll probably want to switch that out. Now we do need to remember there is a guy around the corner. But then we have this area here. You saw it once in a lifetime. Got it on the first go. Nobody here in this waiting room, but a corpse who appears to be stripped of all of his goodies. Another corpse with no scratch. And here's another workbench. Speaking of which, scrap all our junk. Let's 
lots of good mods. And there we are all for that. Now you can see all of that. Was hoping to have gotten him from around the corner. Guess not, but yeah, we definitely want to set all that off now Gone. instead of later. Okay, as we go through this little area here, a little restroom hole in the wall, and another hole in the wall. More vapors and such. Let's just get rid of that right now. Again, it's best to trigger those now instead of while you're standing in the middle of all of that. So you have a little restaurant area here. Empty cash register. Well, there's that cash register's got a little bit. Pass on the plastic bowl. There's a cook station should we want it. Take that hot plate. Good for circuits. I don't really need that melon, but a little supply area here. No goodies there. See this little note? Asking Tammy to go to the mountains to look for the free states. Looking for Big Gale, or Abigail, sorry. Looking for her bunker near the R, uh, Red Rocket Mega Stop. Ask her about the Brotherhood. Are they okay? What's coming for us? Is everything good there? We'll take that because that's going to tell us about Abby's bunker. And we'll go back through here to check out these stalls, of course. See what little vignettes we get. What kind of potty humor. There's the crashed vertigrade that we saw. And even though it says books would be nice if they would put a magazine there but there's not Let's see if we can go by without setting that guy off see a weapon laying on the ground take that pipe pistol and a few rads darn it so here is the crashed vertebird Inside, we see an ammo box, and that's it for today. Come on, hop on out of there. Please do not be... There we go. See, that escalator filled up with junk. That door employees only blocked. And we have these two doors. Here's the storeroom. We get a little XP here. Let's see. Well, you know me and looking for twofers. I see lots of words that end in S. I even see some that, yeah. KS. 
Nope, just one. Can't be that one. Let's try some other words that end in S. Can't be that one. Looms. Now we're getting this responder radio beacon Morgantown. Um, I'll look at that in a minute. Can't be that one. Let's try plans. And we're in. Lots of hollow tapes missing. Gonna have to keep a note and remote control. Let's open the door. And in the storage room we find another responder corpse with a holotape. It's been a few hours. I can hear them clawing at the door. I locked myself in a storage closet, but I don't think the door opens from the inside. It's okay. Everything is okay. Acute so she knows that she's trapped in there. Panic and emotional distress. Breathe. Breathe. And here we are. I guess it's been at the command post, which was the final rally area. The sound of combat has is it stopped. We see this guy we can talk to. Provided source of fluids. Starvation onset within 10 days. Effects of psychological shock are ongoing, but repressed. I can worry about PTSD later. I, I believe it's been three days. Three nights. Adrenaline has dissipated. I'm so thirsty. I still can't unlock the door. Must conserve strength. Using energy to bang on the door or yell has proven wasteful. A source of fluid nourishment has not been found. Ah, here we get a nuka cherry and some bubble gum. No one is it's coming for me. My friends are. And we have this little. Okay, that's enough. So let's listen to Maria's last words. My name is Maria Chavez. And I am about to die. Scorched have overrun our defenses. They're coming for us all. If you find this, please listen carefully. We were called the responders. After the bombs fell, we tried, we tried to help people. Maybe I can still help you. The terminal nearby, it, if it's still there, use it. Learn about the inoculation project. It might just save your life. Oh shit, they're, they're here, they're here. I'm out of time. Read the terminal, learn about the scorched. Remember us, and good luck. All right, we have this guy to talk to, but first, let's go ahead. Here we have an overseer's cache, so like we'll that. play her holotype. Morgantown. I used to love coming here on weekends, taking flight lessons. Now it feels like I walked into a nightmare. Those scorched things are everywhere. I kept quiet. They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over its host. The ones that used to be human, 
Eventually, they go rigid, like some kind of stasis. And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of burn up from the inside out. Vesuvius in reverse. I wondered what could possibly cause all this. And then I got my answer. It swooped down from the sky, screeching, breathing, infecting everything. I don't know how to fight this. But we need to consider all our options. Here we go. Even the nukes. We find the source of this scorched plague and wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. But first things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. It looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the Overseer, signing off. All right, and we see that there's our next Take that stimmy. Our next task is to find out about the inoculation project, which we will do here on the tarmac. We have one more holotape to listen to. And then we'll talk to this guy. Hey everyone, this is Derek. Making my final report on the events at Harper's Ferry. Hopefully this reaches you all safely. Whatever happened here, it, it was big. The whole area is, it's, it's devastated. If any of our people survived, I, I can't find a trace of them. I talked to some of the locals. They say creatures came from the sky and laid waste to the town. Some of the ones who got hurt in the attack were transformed or something. They apparently turned into monsters and attacked anyone they could reach. Riley says he and his people are gonna seal themselves up in their bunkers and try to figure out a way to fight these creatures. In other words, we won't be getting any more help from these Free States guys. Maria. I was hoping you could get in touch with Ella. See if maybe she can lean on Raleigh a little. Get him to see that this isn't the way. If you ask me, I, I think it's damn selfish of them to turn their backs on the rest of us. On people who need their help to survive. Uh, there's nothing else I can do here. Guess we can scratch Harper's Ferry off the map. I'll be heading back soon. But I, I want to check in on some of the farms along the way. Should be about a week. All right, and that's the notice from Derek, and he tells us about Raleigh, who we'll learn later is Raleigh Clay with the Free Staters. So this guy's been roaming around for a while. Let's have a conversation with him. Every day. Well, well. Another visitor to the Responder's Graveyard. You must be pretty good to have gotten past all those mutants out there. Come to pay your respects to the Fallen. That's good. It's important to honor the memories of those we lost. I got a brother around here somewhere, or maybe somewhere else. All I know, he was one of these responders. Came to check on him. It was a few years too late, looks like. Now, I'm just marking time while the cancer eats me up from inside. In the end, none of us can escape our fate. We'll all be food for the worms. Well, that's a real positive outlook. That's just the kind of thing Marcus would say. Me, I just looked out for myself. Now I'm still alive, and he's long gone. Did his life count for something? I don't really know. 
He and the other responders saved a lot of folks, but they all died eventually. Now they all dust in memories, and even those will fade in time. Anyway, guess you've listened to me ramble on long enough by now. What can this old man do for you? Well, if we had some better stats, we could ask those questions. But we don't. What would you like to know? Marcus, five years younger than me. Start running back in high school. And handsome, too. Had all the ladies chasing him. He followed me into the army. Became an MP. Then got out and moved to Morgantown. Signed up with the police. Back then, I was still living in Cincinnati. We'd talk on the radio. He tried to get me to come out here and join the responders more than once. I do miss him. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Time's all I got left. But I don't mind sharing it. You be safe out there. Sure. We'll do. We'll do my best. So here we have an armor workbench. As promised, let's see if we can go ahead and modify. This new piece of armor we picked up. So we can go from standard to painted. Much better. We have no miscellaneous mods. So let's definitely put that on. Which means we can scrap that. Our leather light leg, even though it's pocketed, so that's going to cost us some carry weight. Got no mods out of that. And again, we can, here we have this weapons bench. Let's see if any of those mods that we grabbed earlier make any of our other weapons. Let's see. Just make sure we don't need to do any repairs. Really wish we had a better grip. Oh, here we go. Definitely want this stabilizing grip. Oh, is that better than the true stock, though? Oh, we shouldn't have saved our point. Oh, well. It's the true stock we'd rather have. Fantastic. Um, about sights. Do we get any better sights? Nope. All right, that looks good. So we have this tuned receiver. That's 56 damage, so that's good. We have long barrel. What about a true long barrel? It's probably going to be our best stock. A precise full stock. What's the difference between that and a stabilized? Vat's accuracy goes up. Let's go for it. 
Oh, we get a suppressor. That is fantastic. Now, let's see, we already have the hardened receiver, which I'm pretty sure is going to be the best we can do there. Standard long barrel, looks like that's going to be about the best we can do. It's a stabilizing grip. Less recoil. Sounds good to me. And no suppressor yet for this. All right. Before we venture forth, we also have the opportunity to go to our status effects. As you can see, we are no longer well rested. So we're not getting that bonus. So while we do have some good beds here, I'm going to go ahead and rest off camera. I also wanted to show you this. Remember where we shot that? Here, I'll go ahead and, and rest. We have a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and get this well rested bonus. And what we're going to do now that we've opened that elevator is you can drop down through that elevator and I'll show you where that drops off, where that lets out. We'll kind of be back where we walked in. Uh, thanks again for following along. I do appreciate, been getting lots of good comments lately. I do appreciate that. If you do watch this video, please take the moment to give it a likes, thumbs up. I do appreciate all the likes and I even appreciate the one person that does give me one thumbs down every single video. Hey, keep watching. I do appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Subscriptions help the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel in a more meaningful way, you can always join the channel and become a super subscriber. There are a few perks to that. So as I said before, you can jump down through here. We've already, you don't want, can't land on that guy now that we've already shot him. Remember here was that weapons workbench. Power armor stations. And out of the airport, we'll quickly probably head back to Morgantown Station in the next video and investigate the tarmac or landing area and tents behind the airport. Again, thanks for following along and hope you enjoy the upcoming TV series on Prime as much as I do.